So today I was dropping my son off at his college. He's an incoming freshman, super exciting time for him and for us. And he was on a Zoom call with all of his dorm mates and they were introducing themselves with their name and their pronouns. And he looked over at me and said, you know, mom, if you ever have to do this, you should say your pronouns are she, he, and they. Yeah, actually that would be pretty accurate for me. Hey, before we dig into this, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, even hit that bell icon. If you like this video and it's helpful, please share it. I'm Lori Sulpizio, and today we're gonna to talk about the pronouns, why people use them, and why they're important. Other than our name, gender pronouns are how people refer to us. We don't refer to each other with our hair color or our eye color or with our most significant hobby. When we don't use each other's names, the way we refer to each other is with he or she, now with they, right? It's our gender pronouns. And because we have such deeply informed ideas about gender, when we see another person, we often make an immediate assumption about if they are a he or a she, and that goes into our mind and it becomes how we refer to them. These assumptions are based on our incredibly limiting views of men and women, masculine and feminine, and they tell us that if we see somebody with short hair, it must be a man. If we see somebody with long hair, it would be a woman. If we see somebody in a dress, that's a woman. If we see somebody in a button down shirt and slacks, that's a man. These snap judgments happen automatically. And the problem with these snap judgments is that they are incredibly limiting and they're often false. So enter the pronouns. Right? We all want to be referred to as who we truly are. And it's not up to you to decide or guess what you think my pronouns are. And it's not up to you to decide what you think this person's pronouns are or this person's pronouns. So when we start meetings, when we introduce ourselves, when we put our pronouns in parentheses on our little Zoom photo box, it is our way of saying, this is how you can refer to me in a way that is authentically me. So people putting he, him, his, or she, her, hers, is letting you know that they identify as that male, he, him, his, or female, she, her, hers. And it may not align with what you are seeing when you look at them, but that is what is aligning with their authentic self. So it's a way to say that. And even if somebody is cisgendered, it is still important because you just never know how they might identify. The other thing I love about the cisgendered folks putting their pronouns is that they are joining in solidarity with many of us gender fluid, trans, gender non-conforming folks whose gender is often mistaken in the way that people talk to us. But the big question I get is the they. Why do people want to use they? Why do people want to say they have no gender and not use the he or the his, the she or the hers? So one reason is to get away from toxic masculinity and toxic femininity. There's a lot of toxicity around gender. Using they can be this acknowledgement of all the nasty toxic elements that come with he and all the nasty toxic elements that come with she. Now there's nobody to blame, no one person to blame for this toxic masculinity or toxic femininity. Essentially, it's been going on for decades, maybe even centuries, in terms of the way we've crafted our understanding of men and women and the big barriers we put in between. So when we use they, if a person uses they, they might be saying, I don't want any part of this. I just want to be a human. I want to express myself with my healthy masculine, healthy feminine, moving back and forth, and that's that. Another reason for using they is that it's a more authentic identifier. So those people who don't fit nicely and neatly into the he or the she and don't identify exclusively in their gender expression as all he or all she, they prefer they because they is somewhat of an umbrella term then and it includes he and she. So people who are gender fluid, people who are gender non-conforming, 
gender non-binary, those folks who don't fit into the he or she might feel like they is a much more authentic identifier than using one he or the other she. Another reason to use they is to simply not be part of the rigid boundaries. So you might still appear male, cisgendered male, or cisgendered female, but you might use the pronoun they because you don't want to be put into that box. So while you may appear typically female or typically male, what you feel inside is that you move back and forth and you bring both masculine and feminine to your expression. So again, they would be a more authentic way to identify yourself. And so here's the thing with the pronouns and here's why they're so important. It's because when someone shares with you a bit about who they are, when you then use those words to identify them, you're saying, I see you, I respect you, I am willing to validate your authentic self. And it is a huge deal because I can tell you, for those of us who have lived outside the mainstream and who have lived on the fringes of the gender society, not really fitting in, it is amazingly powerful and meaningful to be seen and recognized and valued. Again, this is incredibly important for the trans community, the gender non-conforming community, the gender fluid, non-binary community, those people whose gender is not obvious by looking at them. Using the pronouns, asking their pronouns is a great way to say, I recognize your humanity and your dignity, and I wanna uphold that in the way that we speak to each other. So I wanna to refer to you in the pronouns that feel true to you. It is a very big deal. So I've been resistant actually, personally, to the pronouns and to using them and declaring them. And I'm gonna tell you why. Every day, no matter what day it is, I get called a he. And so often, if I'm in a meeting and we're sharing our pronouns, what I will say to people is, my pronoun, if I'm going to assign my biology to it, is a she, because I identify as a biological female. If we're gonna talk about gender expression, Maybe I would say they, sometimes he, sometimes she. I said, I don't really care. You can call me what you want because I get called a he once a day and I understand. I maybe look in appearance more like a man than like a woman. And so I don't really ascribe to the pronouns. One of the things that I've always thought about is that the pronouns for me, the way that people refer to me, seem more about somebody else than they do about me. So when someone calls me a he, I've come to realize that's based on their understanding of what a he is in their minds and in society's minds. The bottom line to all this is we're trying to figure out how to meet each other in our authentic selves. We're wanting to validate and respect each other's difference and be inclusionary about all the parts of ourselves. So when someone comes home and tells you they would like to be called they, be curious about it. Ask them, what about that word feels true to your identity? Why is that word more meaningful to you and feel more authentic? I've shared over the past year or two that my gender identity seems to be ebbing and flowing and evolving as this whole concept ebbs and flows and evolves. I think when it comes to this topic of gender, the key components are to ask a lot of questions, be willing and open to engage with each other and to hear the answers others give, to accept each other's authentic self, and then to stay curious. This is an evolving and moving topic. It's incredibly dynamic. I think if we can come at this doing the best we can, really genuinely wanting to connect with each other, then we're gonna be okay in it. One thing I've come to know about the topic of gender is that it is incredibly personal. So my story is my own unique story. Every individual has their own unique story and there are no really universal truths. I think that's partially why we're moving through this, trying to figure out the best way to identify ourselves so that we can talk to each other and connect in ways that feel true and authentic. That is really what this is all about. Thank you so much for your time. I know it's valuable. I am so grateful that you would spend it with me, especially grateful for this kind of topic because I think it is critical 
and important that we spend our time trying to grow our level of consciousness and our understanding around gender and even expand a little bit our understanding and your understanding of the way you think about and even live out your sex and gender in your own lives. Thank you so much. I will see you next time.